What's up, you guys? This is Zero to Hero here with another figure review, and this time we'll be taking on, we'll be taking a look at the Sota Toys Tomb Raider: The Cradle of Life, Lara Croft in wetsuit, and this is actually a variant. You got her in the front of the package with all of her accessories right here. You got the cool logo on the top. Take a look at the back of the packaging. We got the first figure in the wave, which she's sporting her bomber jacket and her um, combat boots and pants. And then we got one of the creatures that appears in the movie, which is the Shadow Guardian. And then the figure that we have right here. And at the bottom we have like the logo of Sota Toys. We got the Paramount logo. And the artist that actually worked on these on these figures, which is pretty cool. Reminds me of NECA. But I'm pretty sure these figures beat NECA by a bit more. <laughs> well, that was all the packaging. Now let's crack the box open. And here's the figure out of the packaging. The gorgeous Lara Croft, played by the famous Angelina Jolie. And uh, overall, the figure is pretty good. It's um, it's actually much taller than your average 6-inch uh, Marvel Legends. It's actually a 6.2 um, inch figure. <clears throat> and it uh, very resembles a character, um, you know, itself in the movie. And uh, kind of has the, right here, this angle right here, it looks like Angel Angelina Jolie right there. And then some angles, if you just like, kind of like, move it around, you know, if you're going to take um, action figure photography and some poses, it will actually look like her. And uh, overall, her weapons, she has like, um, weapon-wise, she has three weapons, and then she has one accessory, which is in the back right there. But when it comes to her guns, she comes with this um, um, harpoon looking gun with a silencer um, same exact color as the other weapon which we get we'll get back to that later um, she holds a weapon really well the trigger actually has um, silver on it which is awesome and the other weapon um, is more like a revolver so those are her two um, guns and now if we go to the uh, sheath right here um, she comes with this cool looking dagger with a very curved tip on it you can put it back in fits kind of loosely in there but it'll it won't fall <laughs> so and um, one thing is that when you take this gun off, the holster actually works. You know, it actually um, hugs the whole, um, hu hugs the gun when you try to put it back in the holster. You know, it's not like um, a full-on holster, but you know, it clips on there really nicely. It doesn't fall. It's really st um, sturdy on there. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Set that aside. Set this weapon aside. So, um, for our articulation, well, actually, no, before we get to that, um, we're going to look at the detail on, on this um, figure. So, all overall, her jumpsuit, her wetsuit, you know, it's not just a plain gray, it's actually metallic silver or metallic gray. All around. Even her backpack right there looks pretty cool. Again, with the silver motif and the little black, um, I guess, impact armor like um, detail. And this thing is actually hollow. If I press it, it's gonna squeak, you know, just to let you know it's actually one separate piece. And this thing is not actually removable. <laughs> At least I don't think. Actually, you know. No, it's not. It's connected to the bottom. So, yeah, it's just loosely on there. And then on her left shoulder, we got like this flashlight. I'm pretty sure it's a flashlight on her shoulder. It's pretty cool. And you get the gold pins on the straps, on her shoulder straps right there. Really nice. And then on her um, ponytail, you know, well, actually on her like braided hair, you know. 
the classic Lara Croft um, hairstyle from the first game. You can see she has a uh, dark purple um, band tied right there on the at the end of the ponytail, and she actually has some light brown wash at, on her hair, which is awesome, you know. And then you got this gold, uh, you know, the gold belt right there, all around, and then we get to her combat boots, which is uh, the gray um. It really stands out because you can see the uh, the light brown laces and then the silver pins all around the boot from the bottom all the way. So nice, very nice, very nice. So now on to the articulation. So for the articulation, she has a. Uh, ball jointed um, head, universal, you go up and down, side to side, 360 degrees, but I think the, oh no, yeah, it does, it does go 360, <laughs> so she has a, uh, her arms can go in and out, forward, backward, she has a swivel at the bicep, she has double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with no hinge, her um, diaphragm joint actually does not move. It's actually solid. Um, it's actually a solid piece, just to like kind of get that pose going on for figure for like people who just want to pose her, which is kind of a shame, you know. I actually thought this would move, but it's not. It's not going to move. So her legs are actually on a Y joint. They're not on a T joint. So with all Y joints, you always have to twist the thigh or the leg forward or you know, to side and then get her leg to kick out like that. And since it has a uh, swivel at the thigh, you know, you can just swivel the thigh and then they're there on, you know, you can just do whatever you please when posing it. So, uh, yeah, she actually has double jointed uh, knees that can reach all the way back. She has a swivel at the whole boot universal ball jointed toe and then she has articulation in the toes also right there just like Marvel Legends so yeah not a bad figure overall um, the sculpting the detailing on this toy is really spot on for its time for when it came out in 2003 it's um, it's an okay um, design it can pass for you know the likeness of Angelina Jolie you know it's it is what it is um, if you want to get this figure this figure is available on eBay but it's pretty hard to come by in the box since it's like around the 40 50 dollar mark but if you can find it cheap I would suggest you snatch it before anyone else <laughs> wants to bump up the price I got mine on uh, on, a f on a I got it on eBay for a cheap price um, the seller was offering accepting offers so I sent him an offer and he accepted it so ended up being a bargain for me so yeah um, this has been uh, steered here on the 2003 Sota Toys Lara Croft from the movie Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life Follow me on Instagram at Zero to Hero. You know, um, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you want more figure reviews, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.